Like obviously, as a, we'll talk about the football, but to start maybe with the soccer, you played with the Ireland under 19s that reached the semi final of the Euros. And I just know from talking to people around the setup that there was a lot of those, um, that team who were offered scholarships and who were kind of just generally talking to American universities. Is that an option for you? Is that a possibility? Yeah, it was kind of always a possibility the last few years. And there's a guy from Atlanta who's been on to me kind of every Christmas he comes over and we meet up and we chat. and. I've been kind of saying the last few years, yeah, I'll come over next year, I'll come over next year. And there was, it was kind of in the pipeline to do a Masters over there. So there is that option. I'm not sure now if I'm going to take it or not because there's options as well with the AFL. And so that's kind of coming into it as well. So I'll kind of see over the next few months what, what I want to do. Wow. Which AFL team is it? Um, Melbourne Football Club is the big one at the minute, but there's a few offers and I was meant to actually go over in January, but um, things didn't fall into place and with the league starting very soon and stuff, I kind of have to uh, take a step back from thinking about any of that yet, but um, I think we might get a few weeks off in May, hopefully, and maybe I might get over then and have a look around. Okay, right, so all of a sudden, like, most people who play sport in Ireland, particularly who play GAA, like there's, you know, there's that window of opportunity maybe if an Aussie Rules team comes in for you at 17, 18, 19 and that's it close, but like every summer you have an option for soccer or now for Aussie Rules. Yeah, see, the window with the Aussie Rules actually works out really well and it kind of accommodates for to play football and to play AFL, so I could technically go over in the end of September, October and then come back in March and I suppose finish out the league and play championship if I suppose your team allowed you to do that, you could yeah. do that. But um, I think next year and the year after, there's going to start being more AFL games, so it mightn't be as easy to do. But at the moment, that's the way the season falls. So it kind of, whereas soccer now, the season used to be kind of September to around May, but yeah. now it starts in January and it doesn't finish till September. So it doesn't really accommodate for me to play both. That's college soccer? That's no Chels. Okay, sorry, yeah. yeah. Okay, and so if you did go to the States to do college, is that something that's kind of fallen off your radar totally? Um, not completely, but... It's kind of more of a situation that you have to up and leave everything here, whereas if you go with the AFL option, it's you can kind of... Best of both worlds. Yeah, best of both worlds, but the soccer is definitely an option. It's something I really want to do at some point, um, and I don't want to look back and kind of regret yeah. that I didn't do it. So and can you do everything? Like, Is it possible you can do a bit of AFL for a couple um, of seasons and then go back to the soccer and go? Because, like, I know the NCAA have strict rules about professionalism, but like, you wouldn't have been a professional soccer player, so it's not like you couldn't no. go back and do... No, I could go play AFL and then I could go over the year after, say, and do a Masters maybe and play with the college soccer team over there or play with the club over there and that would be professional. But, yeah, um, yeah it's, I'm not really sure about the whole, I suppose, going back soccer, being out of it kind of the last year now, you have a lot of work to do before you get back into it and I'd yeah. have to be playing consistently like day in, day out. And I'd have to, I think I'd have to go back to Shells first for a while, get your touch back and all that and then kind of decide. What, what would be the pathway if you did go over to the States, like in terms of uh, a professional career, because we all know about the national team being so successful in the States, is the club set up just as impressive over there? Um, I don't think it's as impressive. I think if you really wanted to make it in soccer, you'd have to go to England and to play at one of the bigger teams. Like my friend, Katie McCabe, who's on the under-19 team, like she was over at Arsenal and then she went to Glasgow. Uh, to kind of regain a bit of confidence and back again to Arsenal. So I think that's where it would be better if you really wanted to go professional. If I wanted to go over and maybe further my education, probably America is a better idea. Yeah, I mean, uh, the idea of a Masters in American college is pretty, pretty sweet, getting paid. And the way that they look after their sports teams is ridiculous. Yeah, it is. And the scholarships are worth an awful lot more than they are over here. So yeah. uh, Megan Connolly, another girl who went over from a young age after the under-19 campaign, um, she's really enjoyed it and Megan Campbell as well so they seem to not want to come home since they went so yeah. I suppose if you go over you might be stuck there as well yeah it would be awful to be stuck in Atlanta <laughs> one of the uh, best places in the world to live apparently <laughs>